the narrative arc is very much A to B, in which I'm looking at a sequence which follows fairly traditional uh, points of storytelling, but at the same time, in, in terms of the editing and the way I lay it out, I'm trying to break it up and make it a bit more of an interesting experience to keep that engagement uh, in a similar way to how I'm trying to pull apart science fiction into different blocks and take those ideas and turn them into something new, something that can be interesting. I'm currently working on a, a short film, a short science fiction based narrative in which I'm creating a character, a central figure, where I'm trying to portray humanistic values and ideas that resemble different philosophies and uh, inherent motifs that build from science fiction work. But I also really like the story that can be told with science fiction. It opens up a world and a fantasy, not quite like anything else. And I'm taking this idea of technology and really trying to use it as a framework to construct an identity for this character. And so this character is very human on the inside. And so you have a human human values, humanistic role for the character, but they fall into different um, problems and ideas that the human condition inevitably does. When I'm looking at starting a new project or something, it's a fairly fluid process in which I, I like to take little ideas and little pieces of lots of different uh, things I've experienced. So a big part of working on anything is really experiencing and watching different films and texts. And whilst I do that, I get little ideas and little feelings. And from that, they stem into new things that I would like to work on. So in large, it comes down to the, this content I consume as much as I create. And whilst I'm working, I'm pulling from little bits of moments and ideas I've had in the past. I almost start to create a storyboard in my head of a different project, just based on a feeling or a texture that I, I started to extrapolate from a film or, or an album. And that, that's a large part of how I start a project, is, is simply feeling something and imagining where I could take something similar in the future. So if something's not working, it's, it's usually a question of just asking why, and trying to figure that out. Uh, if it's a technical issue, I, I, quite f I find quite often I like to just maybe take a break from it and start working on a different element of it, uh, which is why I often work with different mediums. So I might just clear my head and go work with some sound or something. So I'll, like even sometimes I'll just sit down at the like piano and like that can be interesting. And then if you maybe take some chords or some of that melody and you stretch it out or you start to play it into something darker. Uh, I like, I tend to want to make something a bit heavier, something a bit more, with a bit more punch, a bit darker. But it, it generally just comes down to what you're ref what's reflecting the score, the soundtrack. Uh, experimentation for me comes from taking my ideas and then physically trying to realise them. And a lot of this uh, will come down to uncharted territory for me. I, I, I've I mucked around a little bit with some 3D rendering uh, sound work, whatever, and then that's a massive shift from photography. So I like to think of uh, experimentation as a way of um, keeping the flow and the momentum of what I'm doing, building and, and going. Start to find that uh, different ideas lend to each other. So work that I make with photos or with sound will start to resemble the ideas I've had for different projects. So I'll be working on some sound or something 
And then once I go look at uh, some photos I'd shot, I start to see how these two things can work towards a more unified project. So this is an interesting post form of uh, experimentation I like to play out. Experimentation is a massive part of all the post work I do on video and, and photos because that way I get to take them past what they were once I shot them. Once I've been out and shot or filmed or whatever, I then can bring it all back in and that's, that's where I'll sit down at the computer and, and work on it. And naturally, that's, that's about as much variance as there is. If I'm going to do some painting or some more hands-on stuff, then I like to just kind of go outside and anywhere I can go without messing too much stuff up. I like to make things that reflect different experiences and ideas I have. We're all humans and we're all making content for humans. So everything we make comes back to those very primal emotions and feelings. But at the same time, it, it journeys through what could be a narrative. I like to make work that is definitely something that people can enjoy. You know, something, something that can make people feel. So if you can create something that brings people in and immerses them and creates a world for them to kind of escape in that escapism of content that naturally a lot of things bring. Um, I really like that cinematic escape. So I like to, I like to bring these things together and create an experience through different mediums and techniques.